uh, when will you fill me in on on June the 15th meeting, when, where, and how? And one of the reasons I want to know is on the 14th, I'm going to have surgery on my hand, which unfortunately will mean I can't be there. No, <laughs> I can't get out of it. I mean, well, what if uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll contact you by email? Maybe we drive up together. Yeah, you, you only need 30 minutes of an explanation of what's going on. It's just, and I'm not serious. I will be available to go. I was hoping. Well, they they make pills. They make pills that keep you. Well, we'd be extra meeting that day, probably. Ooh. Well, that's not a bad thing for that process. <laughs> but I'd be walking up court and remind the influence of drugs. <laughs> Give credit, right. Mr. Yeah. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> we got it right where we want it. Yeah. 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 So okay. you will get back with I'll me. I will get back. With okay. Me. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Let me know before I undergo anesthesia. Would you? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll, you'll hear from me this week. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, gentlemen, we got about six minutes before. I, I, I'm going to make a general notation. Uh, first of all, I'm glad to see everyone here. Uh, is there going to be more goose killings at the lakes? Because the last time we had a crowd like this, it was because the word got out they were going to kill geese at the lakes. So I didn't. I thought maybe nobody nobody informed me. You talk about a disappointed organization. They they did. They packed this room because allegedly they're going to kill geese at the Tri Lakes. And we said, you know what? We don't have anything to do with killing geese. Talking about a disappointed group of people. Glad to see you all here. There are probably more people. Other than that meeting, there are probably more people here than we'll see in a normal year. So just glad glad to see you all here. Um, and I'm also going to mention just, uh, we, we'll discuss it here in a little bit, but uh, I, I believe we'll probably be changing the way we do it, the agenda. But we'll discuss that in a little bit. Right now, to keep on track, I'd like to... Uh, I'd like to look at claims and um, minutes, if we, from the previous minutes meeting, if we could, please. And we both the same minutes, so we can be specific. Mr. Chairman, I read the May 21st minutes, <clears throat> and I would uh, recommend and make a motion that uh, they be passed. I would second that with one change. Um, first paragraph, uh, it says uh, Dan Sigler, county attorney, brought before the commissioners an updated county go golf court ordinance that will be implemented for July 1st, 2012, based on the new legislation passed by the statute of this session. It should be statute. It should be state, shouldn't it? State. Oh, the new the legislation passed by the yeah. state by state this session. Okay. Statute to state or state of Indiana, however. Uh, so I have a I have a, a motion in, in a second with with the understanding that the word statute in, in under the matter of county attorney will be changed to state. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, the same. Thank you. And I will. If you'll give me just a couple of seconds here to, to uh, I'll go through the claims. I, I found the claims to be uh, pretty easy to go through this time. Uh, I, I did have a question on a, on a claim that the very first one on your, on your package, I didn't understand. I, I, I'm looking for more detail, but apparently EMA uh, got a grant to purchase radios with and had spent all the money in the grant with the exception of $1,779.99. And um, so it was approved by, I would guess by the EMA director because in the EMA committee, I don't think it was ever brought up, but uh, they, that money was then allocated to the city of Columbia City to replace the point-to-point -point radio. That's all I can tell you about it. So that's that's what it was spent for. I also found the sixty-four thousand dollar claim that we just talked about. 
the other one, um, Tom, we really, we, we write, I guess I didn't know this, we write a, a semi-annual check to the passages for $35,000. You, you know what that's all about? Do you remember that one? Do you? It says semi-annual payment, that's how I came up with. We, we made a semi-annual payment to passages for 17500 Okay, well, we'll get passages. Unless, that, unless that's what we allocate passages in our yearly budget, just like, excuse me, uh, we do with senior citizens with their 25, but I think we pay that one all at once. And why it's done twice a year, I don't know. What's 130 us, commissioners? It's in our budget. Okay. Well, I will, I'll find out. I'm not saying we don't know it. I just, another one of those deals where we're paying it and I don't know what it's for. So I'll, I'll find out for the next meeting. Um, I really, I didn't have anything of any other significance in, during the claims. Any question on the claims? If not, I entertain a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve the claims for uh, 6 4 2012. Second, and I have a follow up question. Go right ahead, sir. Uh, on uh, page 20, the last page. Okay. Uh, reimbursement for non sufficient fund check. What was that for, or what is it? Second one down from the top with the county treasurer. Someone, someone paid their taxes with a non sufficient fund. So someone paid their taxes with a non sufficient fund. Why did we write a check? If someone Gave me a non I turn around and write them a check and say, Have a good day. Did we have to pay it to the bank? Then? I think it was already dispersed. Yeah, it was already dispersed. Pardon? It was our, the money was already dispersed, and that's actually putting the money back into our account. It's from the treasurer's office. It's not an actual check that's cut, it's just done as a pre run. It's just kind of an in and out. Paid for the check that we thought we had it well, was not. Right. It was not a check that it was cut. Why does it? It's not a physical check that I write to the treasurer's department. I can set it up in the system to do a pre run and then I just receipt it in instead of actually cutting a physical check. I would like it just... to use that policy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it just right. saves us on actually printing checks when it's just kind of an inner office thing. But I guess I still learn. I, I'm with Commissioner Rith, Like I'm not sure I really understand. We, we're reimbursing them for a bad check. I or think what happened was the the customer came in, came in and they paid for their taxes. The check bounced. Right. Well, they come back in and then they pay like with cash they made or it whatever. Good. Right. They made the check right. good. Okay. Right. Okay. So okay. we've got to get that All then right. back Thank into you. our I, bank account. I, I was a little. But we write you a check. But you say it's not a written. It's a written it's check, but it's not a written check. Correct. Correct. It's just looks like it's, looks like it's a transaction and not a check. I so uh, ask for the right. question. Further discussion? <laughs> okay. Hearing none, all in favor, raise right hand. Opposed, same. Thank you. Auto, it's not Auto. bad. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Just checking, buddy. Making sure I have power. 